Being on black, folks. Uh, and basically what it's looking like is I've got a frozen shot because basically I'm going to show you right here. I'll try to hit step. I'm hitting step. You should be able to hear it play, uh, clicking too. So then I'll hit play, 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 and I'll hit faster. And nothing's going to happen. I've got a frozen shot from here a couple minutes from the 7th. You can see the date and so forth, and then we'll blow up. And then basically you just sit here and look. What they're doing too is NASA sitting here going, and the world is going. That's a planet. It's closer to the sun than Jupiter, and it's not Earth. And basically, no matter what, it's a planet. It's not one of the meatballs that we've seen before, and it is huge because the idea that it's, sure, it's close like Jupiter. Jupiter's somewhat close, but it isn't really. It's a pretty damn good distance away from the satellite, from the telescope, because the satellite is basically a telescope out in space, basically, in a sense, these cameras. Uh, NASA knows the technicals way more. Go to Beacon, let them explain and everything like that. But no matter what, this here planet, it's magnetical. You can see it. It's no problem. And it's there. And they're not marking it. And I've showed in the last two videos that it's there. So they got that frozen from the 7th. Now let's go ahead and see what we can get from the 6th because you're not gonna, I'm not going to get any more here from the 7th, I don't think. Now remember, you got to watch the last two videos to uh, realize it basically, the last two videos from when I upload this one, you'll show, the last one was, I believe, a hmm I put on it, uh, basically H, M, um, hottie, hmm, you know. So anyhow, I studied this, and basically they are going counterclockwise, okay, and after you watch it long enough, they're going counterclockwise. And they're pretty much in time as far as rotation, so they don't rotate whatever this is, is rotating at about the same rotation speed that Jupiter does every day, okay? So in this footage, footage here, we'll show you that. And as you can see, it's not marked. It's not marked. It's not Earth. Watch the last two videos that I uploaded before, and you'll be able to tell. Now I'm going to go over to Nehemiah and show you what I found there. You realize, folks, they're only giving you six hours six hours and nine minutes in the last shot and as you can see here also they're only giving you I think what two hours or something like that the clock's running move over here and as you can see you don't get to see Jupiter in the last couple days so I'm gonna go back a few days and I'll give you a plot of with Jupiter near the earth but factual actual that uh, you really can't see uh, Jupiter in the same shot right now because basically then you'd be seeing the three planets that there is and not just Jupiter and Earth, okay? Because back up what you've already seen. Now I went back to the first and you can still see Jupiter and Earth together on this shot and pump up the 400 here real fast. Pop over to the right. Give you a, there you go, okay? But as you can see the angles, Go back, back, just back up the footage that I already gave you, because otherwise it just takes up too much tag time. The, the most recent shot. Basically, you can see the top to bottom that it couldn't be. It's not Earth, and they're not marketing it Earth because it's not Earth. And it's too damn big. As you can see the size differential here, and you go back to the beginning of the video, and you will see the size difference that absolutely, and this is Beano on bitching out because I told you to go back, but you're too lazy to go back with C. This is huge, and it's not Earth. Okay, that is not Earth right there, okay? So I know you wouldn't back up the video because I told you to back the video up and look, you see? So you, now you actually know for a fact that that is not Earth, okay? And that shot there. So anyway, now let's go to Neymar. And we've got the sun and I got it at 999. What we're going to do is you always want to watch this hopefully on a laptop that you can basically, because this is what I did this video on too. And you'll be able to see this is the sun we're looking at, okay? And you can see the star clusters and stuff like that. And you're going to see it more. Because I won't be able to point here. I'm going to be going in. This is the sun burning through the cloud just at a perfect moment. Okay? Where the idea that the camera doesn't get any ill effects. And you can see the stars in their normal colors. Okay? So, because Mother Nature is basically, you know, darkening the sun up enough. Now we're going to, won't be able to point where the hoot, but we'll get this zoom in on it. And here we go. We'll move the magnifier out of the way a little bit, so hopefully that it won't. And then we'll zoom in, zoom in. And like I say, you want to get this to a, a, a laptop so you can move it around and see the pixels. 
and I'll keep going in. And if you use the laptop, you can move your screen around and you'll be able to see these pixels and you'll be able to see what accumulates from what's connected to the sun. And then I'm going to go ahead and hopefully that I'm going to take and go to a fresh shot from Navy. We'll move around here a little bit. That's the sun, folks. A bunch of stars. Now, the sun is not just a bunch of stars, but there's a bunch of stars that are between us and or planetoid objects that get illuminated by the sun. Okay, heap loads of them. Because all that is from Nehemiah Station on the ground. That's the sun. And like I say, basically the best thing to do is to view this. And I'll pump more real fast. But the best thing to do is view it on a, on a laptop so you can move your screen around and get good light. So that you can see what you're looking at. Okay, and that's the sun. Now what we're going to do, and all this star cluster around here. I'm going to minus down. We'll come back to... Nehemiah, get that out of the way. That's the sun. Go down to like 200. There you go. That was the sun we were zoomed in on. That's exactly what we were zoomed in on there. And then what we'll do is we'll pop down another 125 here real fast. We'll be able to step. Now I've already proven to you in my other videos. You can go back and watch. I don't have a name for it right now, but anybody that has seen them, I got a lot of people that have seen my videos, so that you'll see that you know that these are stars also that are in front of the sun there. I've proven that by a fact. And we'll probably enough time in this video here too that I'll pop back to that and zoom in on that. Let's go to a, a fresh shot of Navy. So here we are at a fresh shot, and basically we'll zoom in on these stars. If you've never seen this before, that's the sun. And then I'll zoom in on a bunch of stars there. And they look like they've got the limb down pretty good. And then basically you'll also notice if you watch two minute news today that uh, somebody has bannered them or they've decided to turn and they, what they did is they moved, whether they turned the satellite or whether they turned the limb that it's called. And basically the, the little bit of the limb that they put on here to, to block out the most brightest part of the sun. Uh, so, and then all this stuff is between us and the sun right now. So I'm going to go punch in 999 real fast. And we'll be able to pick a star out or planetoid off. And basically there are. There's a star there right off the bat. And I can just stay at 99. And then you can see what we know to be the remnant. Also has some illuminated or star-like properties to it. That are around by it at least right now. Because that's the remnant right there that we know of. And... Uh, Basically all this stuff is right there because I zoomed in 999 and I can point. And we come down across the sun. And those are stars there. Okay, and we'll pop in real fast, I guess, with the magnifier because maybe somebody won't believe that they're stars. Planetoid objects or whatever. Here we go. Now I won't be able to point, but we're gonna be looking at these here. You know. Okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. There you go. We've got some to the left already. And you got that there. Very easy to see. I can even pump up some more because then I'll just move around a little bit more. And they're very easy to see. So there's lots of stars between us and the sun. So we get light curvature from a lot of stars, you see, and planetoid objects between us and the sun. Let me keep moving around here because I'm kind of away from some stars there, I guess, right now. But there, there's two... And that one is a good example. And I'll try to go a little bit left here. And I guess basically I've lost a lot of... But anyway, those are good examples right there. There's actually like four stars, one way back, painted there between us and the sun. So minus out real fast. And now we're looking at these stars here. So I can move over a little bit real fast. And they, like I say, they die. All right, so then here we'll pump in over here since we got... Lurch off or no, we didn't get rid of Lurch. Hey Lurch. Lurch away, Lurch. Okay. I'll get rid of Lurch like that. And then I can scoot us across. And now we'll get up here and we'll look at a little bit of star again since they just for some reason someone didn't want us to and we'll zoom in on this. Remember I can't point too good. We're at 999. I can point now, but now when I start zooming, I can't point. Then we'll move over and there's a star. We'll move over, look at the remnants over there, some stars over by the remnant. Okay, so really prime good example, and I guess some more stuff they didn't want you to look at, I guess, something, something, something decided to take my cursor and 
I guess they're going to prove that, hey, I'm a computer software specialist and I know how to get rid of my, my pointer from working and block it out. I don't have a boring life like that, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what other star cluster action we have. Since we have it there, I'll pr probably be able to prove again, and then I'll hit custom. We'll hit 999. 999, and we'll get up in the left-hand corner, and we'll take a look at the sun up there. And we'll take the magnifier out, and look and see what we get if we get to be able to, yeah, I think so. But we'll see in a second with the magnifier. Now, I won't be able to point, but we'll zoom in on whatever cluster that we have in front of the, uh, that's the sun there. And on the past, I've blown up in there and we've ended up finding stars. And you're just gonna see what you're gonna see. And I think I can say stars already because I think I see what I see already, stars. And you can see stars again, okay? And then in the camera lens, there are dark stars out there in space. So, and we'll move, keep, and then I'll just be able to move around that colored area, no matter how much are blowed up, and you're gonna be able to know what you're looking at. Because basically it's just that pinkish area, and as you can see, there's stars. Dark stars, dark objects, remnants, and then also stars. So, as we're moving around the sun from Earth, being viewed at Nehemiah, and there's some stars very easy to the right hand side of the screen. You can see stars in front of our big star, the sun, and also dark planet toyed objects, okay, remnants, okay. So, and as the rotation, whatever the speed it is on that. And let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and I'm gonna give you a rotational speed and we'll, of the Jupiter because we were looking at that at the beginning. Go all the way back to the video at the beginning. Remember I was showing you? And I'll hit start on this. And I'll actually do it this step because you can see that going away. You end up seeing some more star action there. Uh, a little back step now. And that's where I got a good shot because we had Mother Nature, the clouds. You see, that was Mother Nature. Now we'll come back, and then you get the different. And as you see there, you could blow through and look at it too. It's just angles, angles of the objects in light curvature in stars in front of the sun. Okay, and I went back and forth there, but there's and there you go. There you get another. So as it does its spiral through space, and that's at the bottom of Antarctic, a Nehemiah station, and uh, you get these great shots because uh, they're at the bottom of Earth. They're on the North Pole. I mean the South Pole, South Pole, South Pole, Antarctica. Okay, so you get some pretty great action. So. so that's the sun different places on earth it looks different get a welding goggles on up here anywhere around any other continent area besides even down there they would want to look at the sun with and as you can see look at the rippling effect the space is like water the sun going through the clouds and everything there are certain names that you don't use that people have been using it's space weather too and basically that name is for this what makes the clouds do that is only at the low and below when it's below the horizon or right at the horizon not up like this okay they actually need to invent a new name for this because it's higher okay and even some of the shots that they showed were higher up but the name that they use is for and i'm tongue-tied on that right now i don't really care but what they're using for that ripple effect there it's supposed to be what they call it when it's below the horizon okay when you're at antarctica it's still not below the horizon there. The horizon is still the horizon is your horizon line here. So you have to come up with some new scientific names. I'll probably invent one for that, just for the hell of it. This idea they're actually being grammatically wrong when they say it like that. Okay, what they were saying, what they said in their latest. Okay, because yes, the sun it creates our weather like crazy. Okay, a day on Jupiter is half of what our day is. Okay, so basically it rotates twice in a day. Okay, there's your Nats ass on that, okay.